Welcome. Today, let's renew your mind with the Word of God. In Ephesians 3, Paul kneels before the Father, the source of all life, to pray over the church. If you feel comfortable, I invite you now into a posture of prayer, whatever that looks like for you. It may also be on your knees as we join our faith with the Apostle Paul and yield to the power of prayer over our lives. Take a deep breath in, hold it, and take a long breath out. Get settled and find stillness. Take the moments of pause to vividly imagine these words manifesting in your life today. Paul says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Imagine like the most epic superhero movie scene you've ever seen, God reaching deep within himself. And now through his spirit, he touches the deepest part of you, your spirit, as he supernaturally strengthens you from the inside out. Now imagine that through this exchange, the space in your heart for trusting God was greatly expanded, and it's in this space that Jesus makes his home. How does having this greater space for trust affect your life today? Paul prays that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Imagine the roots of your life moving down deeper into love, intertwining now with the roots of God's people all around you, an immovable, unshakable foundation of God's great love.
God invites you now into a close, first-hand experience of his love that surpasses anything you could ever simply learn or attempt to understand with your mind. A heart knowing that surpasses a mind knowing. See yourself saying yes and taking a step into that closeness with him. The result of this intimacy is that you are made complete with all the fullness of God's life and power. What does that mean to you today? As we bring this moment of meditation to a close, let's end with Paul's words of praise to God. To him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Mm-hmm.